Night followers, this is the music segment of Beer Night for episode Beer 15. Night. No koozie for you. This isn't talking new metal oh, music. No, instead. this is music top five edition. No right? new metal. New, no, yeah, none of that shit. None of that. No not rea- we're not Until reacting. Until this guy gets to his top singers, then we're going to have nothing but new metal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. Number five is Corey Taylor. Number four is Corey Taylor. Number three is, spoiler alert. How did you know that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Corey. Oh, my God. Taylor. Top five singers, singers of hard uh, rock and five. heavy metal of all time. This singers. is our five. top five. Singers. 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 So this we decided to do singers. Why did we decide to do singers? Because mm. I'm a singer and I'm tired of fucking guitar players. Do singers not get enough attention? No. Prima Donna's anymore? Yeah. Fr- like, everybody always... We are the things. show. We're the show of the fucking... Yeah, exactly. That's my we, point. Is everybody already gives you too much credit and acts like you're the show even yes. though you don't do shit. I do everything. <laughs> you do everything except make any of the music that's being played. Calm down, make melodies and make fucking go Woo! up and downs and whatever. Go up and downs. Up and downs. He you makes go up and downs. Up and yeah. downs. You make them rear into the yeah. Tom Morello. That's the singer. That's the singer. Time, yeah. yeah, of course. I had no idea. Okay. Our guest is going to go first. Hello. What is your top five singers? Singers. William, what is your top five? So. You can start with five if you want. Number five. Yeah. I'm starting from the bottom. All right. But I'm the top. You know, we work around up in the offensive line. Section of football. Damn right. Uh, top number five, because I have been listening to her recently, and she's grown on me uh, a lot. Tatiana Shemiluk. Apparently, that's how you say it. I Google, think, I don't know. Google could a, be, Google could, could be steering me towards the wrong way. Ukrainian. Yes. I, number five, because I like her dynamic range. By the way, who is she? She's Ginger Singer. I apologize. Ginger. From Ginger. Yeah. I'll make sure to mention the band after. Their YouTube videos get way more views than ours do? Yes. Oh, 100%. Because they actually have content. Uh, <laughs> well, we have plenty of that. Well, we have plenty of content. It's just a matter of if it's good or not. Yeah, that's, that's true. It was very good. <laughs> I just showed them yeah, throwing some content. shade. Yeah. Uh, I think she's number five because of when I was over... Chris's house the other night. Mm-hmm. I was hanging out with my dad, and he's not a big metal fan, just to say that. And he was actually impressed by her dynamic range and, and whatnot. And I, it, was, it was just funny to me that he was so impressed by a metal band because he listens to a lot of Sticks and, <laughs> and a lot of ELLO and other other bullshit that he turns ELLO's on. ELLO's pretty good. Sticks? Nah, uh, Sticks is kind of. I meant to say Sticks and leave it there. Let's just say yeah. that. But sticks and leave it there. Hot dog. But it, uh, it it just goes to show that a person who who's not really a big metal fan can kind of like change their mind mm-hmm. based upon. I mean, when you listen to a song, a lot of people kind of tend tend to listen to vocals, and her vocal is 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 insane. Yeah, the, that, the, the she, dynamic she range really is is pretty crazy. The so, fact she can she can go for something so like uh, somber and melodic to something very harsh and and deep and even deathy. If, even if you even without the death. Growls and, mm-hmm. the, and the, mm-hmm. the hardcore screams and stuff like that. If you listen to like Bad Water, Bad yeah, Water, it's nothing but singing. Incredible, yeah. it's incredible, 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 incredible stuff. stuff. Just incredible. I love that album. God damn, such a great album. Oh, it's great. Still my favorite album. Yeah, there. mine too. All right, what's number four? Number four. I uh, gotta go on Google here because you know I can't pronounce names. Right. Uh, Michael Ackerfeld from OPEC. Michael. Michael. Oh, Michael. 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 I would say he's number four. I kind of got to throw Steve Wilson in that conversation a little bit too because he's a very big influence for him. As as in terms of when you go from Black Water Park on up, he becomes a lot more melodic and, yeah, and less absolutely. deathy. But he always did the I'm, melodic stuff. You're yeah. right. You're right. But he, but, but, but he it was more there was more death metal vocals infused. Right. Right. But he always had those moments where. He would go into the melodic stuff and be like, oh, "This guy can actually fucking really sing." Yeah, he's yeah. a fucking he can fantastic kill it. singer. He can kill he it. Is. Yeah. Yes, that, that's a great number four. I, I'm actually yeah. caught off guard. With that. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, I, I, I I pick him because when I was getting the metal, it, yeah. the death metal genre was just kind of hard to get into because it as as a casual listener, very to, acquired to, to, to rock and metal, you kind of just gotta you kind of just gotta force yourself into it. Mm-hmm. And after listening to the Black Water Park over and over and over and over, because I liked it so much, it kind of just trained me to like. Listen to it in a deeper sense. Let's just say it, it gave me a better, well tasted, rounded uh, and appreciation. Appreciation, yeah. exactly for 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 the genre and the band, just in general. Uh, number three, 
I would have to say, for moving on here, if I could bring it up, I like James Lebray. Lebray? Lebray. 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 James Lebray oh, from, from Dream, Dream Theater. Theater. He's a good singer. Uh, he has a bunch of different things that he does that I, I really enjoy. That that band in general just kind of is a combination of different things. Just Metallica mixed with R- Rush, mixed with Pink Floyd. Yeah, you it name is, it. Yeah. They kind of touch on all bases. I, he, he can go from deep and deep and really like, uh, I don't know, deep and like not touching, but like, you really feel his emotion, yeah. and, and he then has a good very emotion, soulful, yeah. very soulful, and then he can go to very high, high ranges where where he has to yeah. overcome the music, and and it, it yeah. he does it he's, in a very good way, and, and it's kind of Bruce Dickerson in a sense. He's well, and he's one of those singers that can hit any note you put in front of him, and he's much, he's much more, to me, dynamic than Bruce Dickinson because Bruce Dickinson has a very specific tone. Now Bruce Dickinson, Bruce is a great singer. Let's yeah. not make the bones about it, but he has a very specific. He's very tall and yeah. range that he fits. Kind of like David Lee Roth a little bit. Well, no, 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 he's better singing than David Lee Roth. Yes, but I'm yeah. saying you you get a lot of the same David driving Lee, tone that you would get with the David Lee Roth. David Lee Bruce, Roth, Rick, sure. Bruce Dickinson. Attitude. Attitude. Okay, um, yeah. David Lee Roth is nowhere near the same. No, not even right close. Yeah. Not even close. Uh, David Lee Roth is one of the more overrated singers. I would in, agree. In the, I would on agree. The face of the planet. However, his charisma and his attitude. Is what gets people's attention. He's a great front man, right? Yeah, he's a great front man. Um, Labrie, on the other hand, he, the guy can hit any note you put in front of him. Right. He can he can bring it down to some low soulful stuff, and then just and then knock it out of the park with some other things that are just and like you said, carry it over the music, and he can do it live and do all kinds of great right. shit. Yeah. He's got a great like uh, soft whisper almost voice, right? Like when he when he sings, it still carries. It still carries. It's very, still carries. very like like softly. It's, yeah. It's very. Yeah. Like amazing sound. Yeah, it is it's very really amazing. Good. It's really good. It, it's it's very or like uh, you can still project. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. He's really good. That's a good pick. All right. So number two. Number two, just because this is probably my favorite band of all time, and this is what got me into kind of rock and metal. Yeah. Uh, James Hetfield, I would say number two, just right. because of uh, how iconic his sound is, and I mean, you can't. It's not Metallica without James Hetfield. He's he's. No. No, I mean, not. I'm going to talk about guitarism right now, but we're in, in terms of music-wise, he, he's the... the By the way, it's not James the, Hetfield without... Or, <laughs> it's, not it's not Metallica without James, James Hetfield on guitar. Yeah. Yeah. No, not at all. Not at all. Yeah. He is the foundation of Metallica, I will say. He is, he's, he's what built him from the ground yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they sell out Mecca Arenas. That's why, I mean... When you listen to him, just... Even the people hate on the Black Album. When I hear him on the Black Album, just killing it on... My friend of misery, or or, or God of yes. the God that failed, yeah. or something like that. Great. I mean, Great. people can say it's gotten poppy, this and that and the other. I, I simply just don't agree because it's 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 what they believe. Mm-hmm. Metallica as, as a whole is what they believe that they should have gone in, in the path they should have gone. But him himself, the amount of the amount of uh, uh, obstacles and adversity that he's faced in his life, he's mm-hmm. he's just sustained his his sound. Yeah, and I, I really feel that. He's really what got me into rock and metal, and that's why he's number two for me. And uh, number one, best artist, best vocalist of all time for me, it's got to be Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, every, Ozzy, number, nice, eight, number one. one. Every number time, one. every time I listen to a Black Sabbath or an yeah. Ozzy, Ozzy song, I, I just I like it. It, it, I like it, it. It gives me goosebumps. It really does give me every time his voice comes into a song, I just I am entranced into the song. It. it it really pulls me in and yeah. it, it, it throws me for a whirlwind how how well he can he, sing. He has an unmistakable he's charisma. Got, yeah, he's got he like does. Just, this is just, just like he's just like one of, he's one of a kind. Yeah, absolutely. He, no one absolutely. no one sounds like him even to this day. Even if someone tries to pretend you're you're pretending to do it. Yeah. it it's 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 a, it, it, it really it's is such a great sound. Yeah. He's got his own voice. You can only mock him, you can't you can't, you can't yeah, emulate it's, him. It's, yeah. It's good. That's a good number one. It's good. And so, talk about being an iconic frontman. Oh, I mean, he's very just, iconic frontman I mean, too. He's, 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 living, living, walking, breathing legend. Yes, he is a legend in his own right, definitely. All right. Well, do you have any honorable mentions, or that's your top honorable five? Mentions? My honorable mention, you got any, uh, the one that you love, the one singer that make I also five? would say that is got me in the metal when I was a uh, virgin to metal. I like uh, John Aldera from Barren Earth. I really think oh, that he, 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 that's the one I'll mention that I'm going to give just because he, he kind of throws into like the, 
the uh, opera, operatic, op- yeah. operatic, yeah, yeah the That's operatic second sense. Second vocalist too, yeah. The yeah. second vocalist was really good. The first one was really good. Yeah, but the, the, second one, one, the second one, the second one, one he's, he's on a different yeah, level. Yeah, he's on a different, different level. level. Yeah, it's like whoa. Dude. Crazy, you're yeah, you're nuts. But see, that's that's we're getting obscure. That's death very metal obscure, there, death metal. That's why it's an honorable mention. Yes, not everyone's gonna, great band. not everyone's gonna recognize so, that name. So I introduced both of you guys to that band. He did. He I did. Used to hear this he band. did. Like, you guys have to hear this shit. Oh god, this is crazy. Yep. Yeah. yeah. What's crazy what's your Devil's Resolve? Is your second Devil's Resolve? Devil's Resolve. Yeah. That, that incredible. Was fucking incredible. Incredible. Not with not with that singer. No. But that was I think that was the last album with the original with the original yeah, singer. Two albums with two the first singer, and then they did two albums with this. Yeah, on Lonely Towers was the next one yeah. Lonely and then uh, Compass of Cages after yes. that yeah. Compass, Compass of Cages. Cages is amazing amazing, amazing. Album. Good amazing. Good. 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 anybody Good. I, I would yeah. recommend that anybody who listens yeah. to yeah. just music Good. in general they're incredible musicians yeah. like uh, he's an incredible singer mm-hmm. like yeah. insane alright all right, well, any more honorable mentions? Well, that uh, that's the only honorable mention yeah, that I can right. honestly well, think of. That's a good one. Good one. You're young, you got a lot more to get into. I do, I do. A lot more singers out there that you can uh, figure out. And uh, I'm going to go ahead. My turn. Well, your turn. My turn. The Steve singer's the, turn. The singer's the man. turn. Damn right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. What? You're a singer? I try. But well, does that mean you have a bias? <laughs> does that mean you have a bias towards I have a bias singers? towards singers, yes. It's about damn time I'm tired of guitar players. <laughs> We're fucking lead fucking guitar asshole. players. Jesus, like, hey, at least one of us here can hold a key. Oh, <laughs> a bird. I didn't say it was good. I just, I, I tried singing. <laughs> hey, I did too. Okay, okay. <laughs> we all tried. All right, we? my number five, and you guessed this already. Number five is Corey Taylor. I'm sorry. Sorry. Ah, 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 wait, 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 wait. That's so low for oh, you. Hold on. <laughs> I can't believe he's number five. That he's is low five. for you. That's it is low. low. It is low. But I had, like, I wanted him higher. But then, like, I was looking at other singers. Like, there's a lot better singers than him. <laughs> there is. The reason, you kind of, the you reason. Chris choking his beer, man. Know. The reason why I picked him, picked him five is was he was my main influence on on getting to sing in the first place. I, I tried to emulate him as much as I could. I try. I, it's how I learned how to how to growl without losing my voice as much as I could was through his songs. And he's an amazing singer. He's an amazing front man. He he knows how to con, um, control a crowd. He he's really uh, um, probably like if in front man wise, I would put him up there with Ozzy Osbourne. He knows how to control a crowd really well. So. One thing I will get him, I, I, you know, I'm not a fan of Slipknot yeah. at all. Um, <laughs> however, um, and I tease you about Corey Taylor all the time because you're such a fucking fanboy, yes. but the guy can rip. Like, he, he absolutely can rip. And, and he's he, he can sing, he can scream, and he can do it live, he can do it mm-hmm. consistently. I mean, the guy is definitely talented, mm-hmm. for sure. That's my number five. My number four. four. <laughs> Floor. floor, four. I love the floor. Floor Jansen. That's why I sleep on two drums. Floor Johnson. <laughs> is floor Johnson. Johnson. She. Oh my God! How did I leave her off? Oh, she is fantastic. I singer love this woman from Nightwish. <laughs> Arion. I love. Oh, it, this woman. she can hit such amazing notes, it, especially in Nightwish. Her 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 style just fits so perfectly. Good. Perfectly with that band, yeah, I agree. And especially when when she goes on the Arion stuff, it, it it just it lights it. It seems like it lights up the song more. She's got an amazing, powerful operatic voice. Um, you just you just can't you cannot like smile when you hear her voice. She's, she's just fantastic yeah, singer. Yeah, and she's like she's fucking Wonder Woman. Yeah. <laughs> she's, like, yeah, she's fucking Wonder Woman. Like, I, like if Wonder Woman Wonder was a Woman fucking singer, singer yeah, it's her. It's yep. Flora Johnson. Yeah, she's fucking fantastic. Oh my God, I love that woman. She's beautiful, great, amazingly just beautiful. awesome, great, great, great front woman, front yes. man, whatever you want to you put a gender on it, front, front person, front yeah, person, right? front man. great, she's great an stuff. amazing singer, such huge mm-hmm. stage presence, mm-hmm. and. Yes, she's gorgeous and all that crap because we're dudes. We can say that. <laughs> Come on. But uh, I'm, I'm more woman, control man. on her voice, especially with Nightwish. It's 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 fantastic, especially when she sings Ghost Love Score, which was um, from the original singer. 
Um, I think she does a better job with that song from the original singer. She she has a little bit more. Well, she 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 infinite. she does she hits the operatic part. Yes, she does. But then she also puts her own flair on the mm-hmm. the, the rest of it, yeah. where it's like yeah, yeah. She, she's a fantastic singer. That's my number four. Uh, number three, we we'll go Lane Staley, uh, Alice in Chains. That's a good one. Number that's a, three, that's a very good one. A very I, I a shooting star. Very brief. In his career. brief shooting star, and I was put on my list. So much. The reason why he's number three, he has so much it, passion and feel, and yeah, yeah, yeah. just like was, angst in his voice. Yeah, like, like yeah. he's think about it. like he's almost like dying when he's singing. Because if, if you think about it, what two and a half albums, maybe? No, he had more. Three, right? Facelift, mm-hmm. dirt, and. The half is Jar of Flies. Jar yeah, of yeah, flies. yeah, yeah. And Sap, I guess, a little bit. Yeah. Um, because even on Jar of Flies, he was starting to go. Yeah. Where Jerry was starting to take over more lead. And mm. the self-titled Alice in Chains mm. album after Jar of Flies, yeah. he was... He, he was, was kind of gone. He was, he he was, was gone. Was like, gone. Like, Jerry was singing still, a lot of lead. And, 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 and so Lane when was he, singing when a lot When Lane came in, though, so you, you still feel his... Sure. His, yeah, he was, spinning, he you know? was like, but, but what I mean by shooting star is like he had two, real, yeah. really two albums: mm-hmm. Facelift and Dirt. Yeah, where he was those this, are really the fucking pure fantastic. Lead pure. singer front yeah. man, Jar of Flies. He still was great as a lead singer, but it's an EP. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah it's yeah, not it's, a full album, yeah. so that's why it's a two and a half. Mm-hmm. And then after that, he was he was just gone. Mm-hmm. The self titled Alice James album was, mm-hmm. it was it was closer to a Jerry Cantrell solo album yeah, as far as. Vocally, Vocally right, wise, right. Yeah, yeah. because you had but, it, Wayne was still there, but mm-hmm. it, Jerry was doubling him the whole time, and Jerry mm-hmm. was also singing a lot of mm-hmm. lead. Like you think about Heaven Beside You, Over Now, um, a lot of the songs mm-hmm. Jerry was actually singing the lead because Wayne was it, historically, if you know anything about the band, Wayne yeah. was gone at that point. But Lane, his, his just voice is so unique. He, he, no one sounds like him even till this to this day. People Very try people people try and yeah. co- you know emulate him and it just doesn't work. He's he's just got that specific voice that it's is just it's so amazing and so powerful and so soulful and just so like full of like even though he's not trying, it, it feels like he's seeing in pain mm. almost. He's got that painful yeah. voice that just it's amazing. Um, my number two. He's Ozzy Osbourne, obviously. Number two, he's a such a another succinct voice that no one can emulate at all. And you, you touched on it um, perfectly. Is just he's a great front man. No one can just touch him at all Mm-mm. when it comes to front man, really. Um, and, and you talk about holding a crowd in the palm just, of your hand. Yeah, he yeah. He, he can yeah. just like even when he, he was an old man, so like. I saw them yeah. so many times mm-hmm. at Ozfest when he could when he couldn't move that yeah. well, right? Not like he used to, mm-hmm. right? But he still he's just an old fucking fart up there. Yeah. He was still just like <laughs> he could just like kill he, it. Like that audience, like yeah. he would just he, he could still just grab him. Like he yeah. still had, yeah. him, you know. And, and, and he felt he he fit perfectly in the Black Sabbath stuff. <gasps> His solo stuff are amazing, you know. Kind of, you know, a couple dud albums here and there, but it happens. But uh, um, he's a fantastic voice, a generation voice that will never be duplicated ever again. Yep, is fantastic. My number one, number uno, is God, literally the God of, of vocals. All right, is Chris Cornell. <laughs> Chris Cornell can't argue is with that. Freaking God of of. Just vocals, period. Doesn't matter what genre it is, he is God of scene. Yeah, he's fucking. So crazy. I've only seen him live once. That's it, once. And that was with you yeah. from, I think it was 2012 or 2013 when Soundgarden Forum. reunited. Yeah, the Forum. Yeah. And just fucking killed just it. Just fucking killed, killed it. it. Like, just ear piercing, amazing. I remember, I remember, I remember when they, they started playing Beyond the Wheel. Oh. Like, I'm like, there's no way he's gonna pull. No, this. no. Like, and then he fucking he's hits fucking it. And he's just, like, just all right, well, he just pulled that off. <laughs> okay, <it was> just, <laughs> I guess that's how it is. <laughs> just with Audio Slave, yeah. with Soundgarden, with his solo stuff, with his acoustic stuff. 
this guy just freaking sings his ass off without any like like facial expression he just just like no struggle struggle is the word right, he just right. sings with no struggle it's just, effortless. that voice very natural, yeah, yeah very that voice just comes out effortlessly is amazing Number one right there, far in between. Nothing else. Forgot to mention him. Maybe I'm a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do some honorable mentions. Yeah, uh, how many I got? Like 5,000? 5,000. Do I see Lizzie Hill? Hold so, on. So, so I'm going to go. I go, see go, my guy at the bottom. I'm going to go old bottom. school. I'm going to go old school first, right? Robert Plant, fantastic, of course, obviously. Yeah. Of course. Uh, Rob Halford, Brian Johnson, Freddie Mercury. It's fantastic. He's not a big Queen guy. A big Queen guy. But uh, Freddie Mercury's a great singer. Oh, he's an amazing singer. singer. He's insane. I like, music, music's not that you know great. What? But I um, like I like Brian Johnson. Brian I Johnson. Do. He's got that, I that just just, I just so sustained voice. Like right? it's just so nasty. So na- But by the way, so is fucking Bon Scott. Okay? Bon Scott. Yeah. Bon Scott's and Brian nasty Johnson. as fuck, dude. I would put those two together. But like, okay, so if we go back to the attitude. The conversation, mm-hmm. pure fucking bon Scott. attitude, bon pure Scott. attitude, just attitude. Yeah, just pure. And then, like, and, then, just... and then Brian Johnson's has got that just raspy, yeah. nasty it's voice. Nasty, yeah. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Bruce Dickinson and Robert James Dio. Just Ronnie. Ronnie. say Robert. Oh, Robert. 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 Robert James Dio. James Dio. <laughs> new guy. New guy coming out. The... New guy. <laughs> um, Lemmy is that this yeah, nasty Lemmy. voice as Lemmy. well. James Att- Hetfield. Attitude. Yeah. Attitude. Well. Same with James Hetfield. Yeah. I got Phil Ensemble. Phil Ensemble, just, amazing. Crazy. Early years, early years. Of early, crazy. early. early Cowboys of Hell, Phil Ensemble yeah. is, is another animal. Major James Keenan, fantastic voice. Joey Bonella, Belladonna. That's what I meant to say. Belladonna. Belladonna. Yeah. Belladonna. Anth- anthrax. Anthrax, for, baby. Those who don't know. Jonathan anthrax Davis, uh, kind of same thing with me with Corey Taylor. He could have been there with the top five. He got me in the scene a lot as well. Um, Chino Morello. Mor- Moreno. Moreno. Chino Moreno. Moreno. Chino Moreno, <laughs> man. Moreno. That's Tom Morello. He's, yeah. Chino's got such a specific voice. It's distinct. As well. Very distinct. distinct. Very good. And then now I'm going new school, right? Daniel Tompkins. Tom, Tompkins. Tompkins. <laughs> Whatever. Bad, <laughs> <from> Tess- <laughs> Tompkins, right? Daniel Tompkins, something like something that, like that. Hey, Tesseract, hey, and his own solo stuff. He's a fantastic singer. Yeah, he's that's great. good stuff. Tesseract's great. Uh, Lejean uh, Witherspoon from Seven, Seven Dust, Dust. Is great. Chester Bennington or Bing Bington. Bennington. Bennington. Yeah, I read the first line. Right that's the one. I mean, right? I mean, he, he. I guess when he passed away, he kind of looked back at his stuff and like kind of realized that he was, he was really good. He was really good at what he did. Uh, Christina Scapia, right? Is that how you say Scabia. her name? Scabia from Lacuna Coil is amazing. She's amazing. Lizzie Hale, yes, Stop. he's a. Lizzie, you don't like you don't like hailstorm. hailstorm. You don't like hailstorm, he Chris. No, he doesn't. He doesn't like the pop rock shit. Uh, it's very poppy. I listen. To, I listen to the latest album, and it's, it's very poppy. It I very have poppy. to agree. But your voice is the reason why I love that. Uh, love her. But love the, that the music band. is just it, the music's okay. The music is what is the basis of what yeah. they should her, be her, doing. Her her vocals is just fucking yeah. Fantastic. Her vocals are cool. She's fantastic. But the rest of it's kind uh, of Simone uh, Simmons. Simmons. From uh, Epica. Epica and Arion's really good. Yeah. Miles Kennedy, a lot of people don't like his voice. A lot of Miles people Kennedy's do, good. I like Miles but Kennedy. he, he's good singer with uh, Alter Bridge and Slash. I love uh, Alter Bridge. Michael Mills, you know Michael Mills. Arion, he does a lot. He does the yeah, I know. does I know. a couple things yeah, in yeah. Arion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he he fucking yeah, he belts can, it, bro. Yeah, he can sing. He, he belts can, it. He can really sing. Russell Allen from. Uh, Symphony X, Symphony X yep. and then your guy from Opeth, Michael Mikkel, Mikkel, Mikkel. 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 It's not Michael, Alkerfelt, or whatever. Alkerfelt, from Opeth, Alkerfelt, uh, pretty good. Those are my Swedish. only mentions. He's, he's pretty good. He's, he's pretty, fucking. He's, he's pretty, okay. He's, he's, he's all right. Sorry. Pretty fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my my honorable mentions. I went through them real there quick, as much as I fucking could, because I had a lot. Now on there's the, a lot of good singers out there. Christopher, what what is your I don't know. Top. Mr. So Mr. Fucking Noah all over here. 
Yeah, yeah we know. Trust Jesus. me. I've lived 21 years with this guy. I know. Fuck. And you still don't know enough. I know. <laughs> I know quite a bit. <laughs> I just don't like to mention all of it. Uh huh. Sure. I'm a quiet guy. Okay, so. Number cinco. I think number five, I'm going to have to go with Chino. 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 Mario Deftone. So, all right, all right. the reason why he's in my top five is because, you know, he's not a perfect singer. And it okay. doesn't matter. Like, what always has made him great is that it's kind of. His his voice can be kind of frenetic and can be kind of all over the place mm. at times, but there's so 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 much soul. Yeah, there's, there's a so lot much soul. soul in there. There's so much humanity in his voice. I had this conversation with with uh, Garrett a lot, right? Because mm. we, we talk about he's a big fan of Maynard, right? Mm-hmm. Tool Maynard's great, and we talk about the Passenger, right? We're yeah, 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 and I've talked about how I've seen Chino sing that live mm-hmm. without Maynard. I mean, where he sings the whole thing. Yeah, it's sick. He's seen it live numerous times. And, great song. And I always it's compare the two. And, and Maynard is extremely clinical mm. and extremely um, succinct in his singing. He's, he's, he's very... He, he's almost perfect, right? Mm. Chino is not. But Chino has so much more soul and pain and humanity in his voice because of that imperfection. Because he's... There's just there's just a, a palpable nature there that that you cannot duplicate. He's yeah. so unique in his voice and his tone, um, and it just adds so much to their music, to the psychedelic element, to the to the angry element, mm. to the angsty element. I mean, there's so many that band. You, is you not go that band. so many different ways, different yeah. directions. Yeah. That, that, direction, that different band songs. is that band because of that singer. Period. Mm-hmm. Oh, 100. percent I so, totally agree. With yeah, you. He's he's got, that's a good one. I like he's that. He's got to be in there. Ozzy is my number four. Wow, that's so, low. That's low, man. That is low for you. That is very low well, for Ozzy. Honestly, I was surprised you guys put him so high because, him because high. most people don't consider him to be a great singer. But Really? Hmm. Because, of, well, I shouldn't say... He puts a lot of passion into his old school stuff, I feel like. But most people don't consider him to be a great singer because he doesn't have some crazy range like Ryan James Dio, yeah, for example. Yeah. Okay. Right? Or something okay. like that, but... Here's why Ozzy will always be in the top five to me. Not just because of his charisma. Not because of, of you know, his, the bands he's been in, the songs mm-hmm. have been memorable. But what he does with vocal melodies. When I started getting into Ozzy, I was always big into Black Sabbath. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, you, you hear those, the Tony Iommi doom metal riffs. Oh, and you're like, oh, nasty nuts, riffs, nasty. man. Master realities. But when, when, you, when you get into Ozzy's solo career... When Ozzy can really spread his ring wings and, 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 and kind of be a songwriter is what he does with vocal melodies. You would hear a song that you've never heard from him before, right? You, the first time you're hearing it, it almost sounds familiar, right? Because of his vocal hooks mm-hmm. and his vocal melodies. And what he would do to kind of just bring you into the song from a vocal standpoint, like the, the instrumentals would grab you as well, but then the vocals would grab you again and, and you'd be like, I, it almost there were so many times where I'd be like, I feel like I've heard this before, but I never have. <laughs> but it just sounded so yeah. familiar because the, he, he always had this way with melodies and with hooks that could draw you in, and that's that's just songwriting, man. And like he doesn't get enough credit as a songwriter for doing that um, because he always had great musicians he was playing. Yeah, with, right? exactly. He always did, but but he did he absolutely did more than his part to make this his songs memorable and to. Whether you're singing along, whether you're feeling his emotion, you're feeling the the passion, like mm-hmm. you guys were talking about in his mm-hmm. in his lyrics, it was always very real. Um, he always had a very realness to him. That is like that's what makes Ozzy Ozzy. Is he's just so real. Yeah, right. he's just he's, he's a guy you can real, just sit and have beers with. Yeah, <laughs> but then he also wrote fantastic yeah. melodies, and that, that should not be that's good. discounted because nope. that that's one of the things he was absolutely great at in his solo career, mm-hmm. just writing insane melodies. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm questioning your top three now. Yeah, I'm um, over here wondering. I'm going to go three. I think I'm going to go James Hetfield. James Hetfield. Nice. Right, so, right. um, so I know you're big on his guitar day, work. I know you're big on his guitar work. Latter day James Hetfield. Like early in his career, yeah. he's not the greatest singer. Right? It's more about attitude. Yeah. They, more. They've always, they, well, Metallica always right said that he, didn't, yeah. he never wanted to be James well, Hill never wanted to be, but but I mean it's, it's all about his attitude and and the way he crafted his his vocals and his lyrics and stuff like that was always perfect for what the song needed. However, later in his career, 
he morphed into this insanely great singer. I don't know what happened. But you hear him sing like Tuesday's Gone. Yeah. The cover oh, song. Oh, oh, that whole album. What the fuck? So like, like okay. It's 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 out there that he blew his voice out after the black album, recording the black album. Yeah, no, he blew his voice changes, out. He changed, changed the singing style. style. Yeah, yeah. So so yeah. That's part of it. It's part of it. But it's part well, but but see if you if you follow their live career, mm-hmm. um it changed the way he sang live. I don't know if it changed the way it might have changed the way he approached albums and recordings. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But live you could hear the change. Yeah. Because live he started singing more melodically mm-hmm. instead of doing the the, the classic, classic James Hetfield kind of stuff. like rasp, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, because he, he, when they, you know, were playing, you know, two hundred dates on a tour mm-hmm. in yeah, order yeah, not to yeah. kill his voice, he had to just start singing more melodic. Yeah, exactly. Um, but on the albums, I think he still approached it because the albums you can do things. You, you're, you you're can do a, things and you're in a controlled environment. Yeah, you're you can do things and vocally. And right, so you can do things. Recording. You're not gonna blow out your voice because no. you're not doing it, you know, a, you know, a thousand times. Mm-hmm. Right, but. Um, it's just, but the songs he he did sing on, like I think about "Load" and the vocal mm-hmm. performance on that album. I think about the, the like I mentioned, uh, "Tuesday's Gone" and, and "Turn the Page" and stuff. And then later so. stuff, like like you think about like S and M two when he sang "The Unforgiven Three oh, with just with the orchestra, just, the orchestra. Like, just him oh and the orchestra. Oh my god, how that powerful that is! Like it's Beautiful. so much, so much soul oh. in his voice, and yeah, there's that's... just this, there's just this or like. Yeah. The, Half chub. They're you know, like the acoustic shows that they've done, where he just he just just kills it. And this yeah. is the this is the guy from fucking Ride the Lightning and Master of Puppets, right? Yeah. Like, it's yeah. Like, you don't expect that. So it's still really the way he progresses. It is. Yeah. It's good. That that and right. and, and the, the what he kind of, you touched on a little bit what he carries with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you can almost hear his life experience in his. Voice. Almost. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's there. Like it's mm-hmm. it's. Um, he, he puts it all. He puts it all in on the table. I always loved the, the semi country song off Load uh, Mama said, like where he's yeah. singing about his dead mother. And, like hearing him sing that song is nuts, man. Like it's just it, there's so much soul in there, and that's just a small example. But you know that's that's one of them. All right, so number, number two. two. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go Sammy Hagar. Ooh. Oh, so Sammy! I Hagar. almost put him on my list. To be honest with you, oh. so Sammy Hagar needs more love. Let's Sammy Hagar is crazy. Sammy Hagar needs more love. He is a fan. He is a good singer. Baby's on fire. Singer. He, he, but, that's a good one. So, All right. quintessential rock voice to me. Like, like you think rock and hard rock music? Like Sammy Hagar is is it? Like yeah. that, that's like the quintessential rock singer. He can do it all. He can do it all. Whatever you need him to do from a rock standpoint, he's going to do. Mm-hmm. And he's going to kill it. And he's going to have that frontman charisma. He's going to go out there. He's going to hold the crown in his hand. He's going to, and by the way, he can kick ass on guitar too. Yeah. And he's just got that, you you put it in front of him, he'll sing it and make it compelling. Like it's just, it just is what it is. He's, he's just got that, that, that it factor um, that I think was, it's been kind of lost in the muck with Van Halen. Right, because yeah. he came yeah. after David Lee Roth, yeah. and Van Halen was so popular with David Lee Roth that he naturally had to have a come down. Right, 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 right. It, there was haters. David Lee Roth. There was haters. Yeah. And by you the know, way, you're gonna have a that, fucking yeah. thousand times better singer than David. Yeah, yeah. yeah. David, David yeah. Lee Roth it's not is just a better front man. Than... Hey, is he? I don't know. It's, yeah. He just came first. Yeah, yeah That's right. It. Right. He, came first. he has the most iconic songs. Like, like, Right, because he, he came first. Like he had the benefit. Is he a better frontman? I don't know that he is. Mm-hmm. Is he a better singer? Certainly not. No, Sammy Hagar. not, Why not is a singer. Yeah, not a singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sammy Hagar is nuts. So I think he needs more love. That's one of the and and, and there's so many Van Halen songs of his that I just love hearing. Right, him. right. And and then his solo After stuff. Shop. I mean, he's, he's, he, his solo stuff obviously is 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 great. It was just never. Um, super, super mainstream, but some of it was. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, and he's was got it? that iconic rock voice, yeah, yeah, that rock singer. Another good example of that um, that could qualify as an album I'll mention maybe Roger Daltrey from the Who. This set that, that kind of iconic rock yeah. voice, like that's that's what I picture a rock singer as. So, well, Pinball Wizard, man, it's good stuff. He's still not as good as Sammy Hagar. No, Sammy Hagar, no. Sammy Hagar, Hagar is significantly better. Number man, one, what's number, number one, one? Uno. Number one is is yeah, yeah, this, let me be, guess, this, let me this guess. is gonna be like I don't know what your number one is. It has I really to be don't. Chris Cornell. It's Chris Cornell. Yeah, okay, there you go. See, good good um, good minds always think. By alike. the way, is there a reason why he didn't grab me one? 
You well, fuck. Dickhead. You need it's not that good minds think alike. I just so, so I forgot to mention second. him. While you're doing that, I'm just gonna, I'm just, as you guys say, I'm just gonna talk for a little bit and just. Uh, like you always fucking do. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You you love you what ramble you on like so ramble on. on. You <laughs> obviously <laughs> haven't watched these episodes. Um, Evidently, so alone. Chris Cornell I, just rambles. I hear him talk enough. <laughs> so <laughs> true. By the way, what before any of you fuckers ever? Yeah, I agree with you. Like this to Chris Cornell. I was on mm-hmm. the bandwagon waving the flag from sixth grade. Yeah. I was sixth grade. Sound garden sound guy. Like sixth grade. So I was like, what, 1985? I was born no, 2000. Not quite that. Not quite that. It, was, it was probably not even close. 90, 91, yeah. So I was waving the sound garden flag saying everybody yeah. needs to listen to this band, listen to this singer. And I have been ever since. And you were already, you were already listening to them. Yeah, yeah, I, I have. I, I know Chris Cornell. I, before, before I listened to I him, was wasn't. born in 2000. So. so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah, we all yeah. know you're. I'm a newbie. He's a young, young I'm a newbie. Like, we're, we're educating our young ones. Yeah, yeah. I love so being educated. Doing. Balls have barely dropped. Yes. So. Well, it's been six years. <laughs> and counting. <Thank> <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Chris Cornell, you know, what, what can I say that hasn't already been said? So, yeah. the. So much soul. By the way, if, if you guys haven't, if anybody hasn't listened to his live acoustic um, album, it's it's good. It's fucking ridiculous, it man. I got it right here. Just to hear him sitting up on stage for an hour and a half with an acoustic guitar, just him, no band. He mm-hmm. just plays acoustic guitar and sings. It's fucking ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. And- and then and that album that no one sings like you, right? With that that album that came out not too long ago, with mm-hmm. all the covers. Yeah, yeah. Really fantastic. Yeah, as well. I mean, the the guy is just he's a legend. But I feel like he became a legend after he died. And mm-hmm. I was not to chew my own. I mean, everyone it, thinks that. It but happens but, to. But we've. I I've, I I thought he one. was amazing when I saw him live. Yeah. So obviously, he was not my number one. When before after before I saw him live, after I saw him live, he yeah. became my Quick, number one. Quickly became. He just like just blew me away. Yeah, amazing, amazing yeah. singer, amazing songwriter. His solo career, I've always been a fan of his solo yeah. stuff, except for maybe one album. But all of his solo stuff, I've always been a fan of. Huge fan of Audio Slave. Yeah. Audio Slave kicks ass. Bigger fan of Soundgarden. Mm-hmm. Soundgarden, I, I was always a Soundgarden yeah. flag waver mm-hmm. ever since the beginning. Like mm-hmm. I heard this band, I'm like, this band is just nuts. Like the stuff they were doing in the grunge era yeah. when everybody was fucking tooting Nirvana's horn and jerking yeah. Kurt Cobain Kurt off. Like, amazing. Not amazing even stuff. close. What this band is doing over here it absolutely smokes anything mm-hmm. Nirvana could possibly put on mm-hmm. fucking record. But you know, I digress. <laughs> mainstream, man. Mainstream. 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 Honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. Uh, I think I only have two. There was a couple that you guys said that I wanted mm-hmm. to jump on, but I kind of forgot about them now because mm-hmm. it's been a while. We've been drinking a lot of beer. Um, yep. I love. That's what we're fucking, here for. Fucking love Christina Scabia, man. Y'all. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Peter Coyle. I love that one. Peter Coyle is nuts. Just, she's amazing. Love, Just, love she is a really that good woman. What's his name? Uh, and, uh, Andreas Ferraro, he Ferraro killed, the guy, he, too, his, his supporting him. vocals. No, no, I love, good. I love that. Damn, it's good. No, I love it. Good. No, I love it. A, a lot of you know what, and 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 maybe we should give him some credit because yeah. a lot of people, if you go on the internet, and the internet we know is a cesspool. Mm-hmm. I mean, no. We're on the internet though, yeah. so maybe we're part of it. But who's watching? Who but I, everything I used to see on the internet always hated on his vocals oh, and yeah. said how great she was, but how much she sucks. I don't agree. No, I, don't I don't agree. Don't either. The no, dynamic he's good. between he's the good. two yeah. makes that band yeah. so awesome. Definitely. His his raspy kind of dry, kind of uh, kind of angry delivery. Like he has, he has so, an insane raspy voice. Yeah. Like so in the so early al- in the early albums, he wasn't as raspy. But, no. but in the later albums, well, but, he got but, heavier. Well, but 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 now he's doing growls. Yeah, he's doing yeah, growls. Yeah, yeah. But, but even when he was doing the raspy singing, mm-hmm. like his voice is. So raspy, I feel like in like, but still on key the whole time. Yeah. Like it's it's perfect pitch. Yeah, yeah. He can be raspy as fuck with perfect pitch, and then right. she comes right. in with also on perfect yeah. pitch. Yeah, of course, yeah. But with these angelic, it's oh, yeah. nuts. Do you like, have a favorite song from them? 
You have like a, a favorite song. For, for, from Come on, we're doing top five of the Coca-Cola Top songs? five of the Coca-Cola. Next I, episode. Uh, I think based upon what you were just saying, I feel like Sword of Anger in the latest album kind of like in in in, in transit like in. It, it encapsulates everything yeah. that you kind of yeah. what you're saying because yeah. he can he can come in with his raspy like kind of growly mm-hmm. voice and then she come she can come in with a sort of anger. So but here's here's the only thing I want to say to that and is, it, it is kicks that ass on the on the newer albums while it does kick ass yes mm-hmm. he's doing more growls he's doing a lot he's doing a lot more growls so listen to something like Kamali's okay right? where okay. where he's doing he's not doing growls he's doing the raspy singing but on pitch the whole time okay like, he's never off key. Mm-hmm. He's perfectly in pitch, but just this raspy yeah, kind of yeah. deep, gravelly voice. Mm-hmm. And then she comes in with the exact opposite, mm-hmm. right? It's a yin mm-hmm. and a yang. Yeah. And it works perfectly. No, it's great. She, she's perfect. amazing. Yeah. Good stuff. So is he. What's your, what's your other. The, uh, other honorable mention. mention? Jay Cantrell, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, Jay, Jay Cantrell. Cantrell. You okay, you mentioned Lane. Made him miss him, Lane. I, I feel like Jerry's a better Lane. singer, yeah. in my opinion. I, I love, well. Not a better singer, but I feel like Jerry Cantrell makes Alice in Chains. Here, the difference is is that Lane was a shooting star, right? He was he had two albums where he really sang prominently, and then and an EP, yeah. mm-hmm. and then the the their third full length album he was not singing prominently anymore because he was gone. He was too high on drugs. But Fuck. Jerry, Jerry is different. So Jerry's voice isn't as dynamic as Lane's, mm-hmm. right? Lane has this dynamic range where he just like kind of like what you were talking about, where he's just, it's just like it's so big, it's so, it's so emo- emotional too. And, and, he's very emotional. It's so giant, but yeah. Jerry's different. Jerry's voice isn't as emotional. No, it's, it's no, not. It's more like but subdued almost. Yes, and, but it's more about his like, tone. His yeah, tone. he has a great tone. He's good tone. It's really good tone. Is, like it, he is one good of the, he has one of the best tones I've ever heard. Like it's so natural sound. Like it's just got this natural ease to it. Like it's just kind of just you just kind of get on board with it. And it just yeah. goes. His solo stuff is fantastic. Like and he's such a great singer. And to your point, mm-hmm. he is Allison Chains. Period. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We can, we can yeah, talk yeah. about what a great singer Lane mm-hmm. is. All we want. Jerry Cantrell is the yeah. man. <laughs> he was the primary songwriter, the primary melody writer. He. Was that band mm-hmm. now? Lane was a great frontman and a great singer, but of course, Jerry is the creative force behind that band. And when he became That'd a solo great. artist, he showed what he could do as a singer, and it, it, it's really his tone. His tone is what yeah. gets me. Like, I have to make him an honorable mention because every time I hear his voice, I'm just like, I that, that tone is just infectious. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. yeah, he's not. The great singer from a range or a no. range standpoint, like like Lane, yeah, yeah. but it's kind of more along the lines of what we were talking about with Ozzy. Like he, Ozzy's tone and his, what he does with mm-hmm, melodies, mm-hmm. kind of. Now Ozzy's more dynamic than even Jerry right. is, but but Jerry's kind of the same deal. It's, Jerry it's can about tone and and his vocal melodies and what he does with notes. Yeah, yeah he can yeah, harmonize yeah. it in. Yeah. Well, he fucking kills Cause, it because he just understands. Listen to dirt. He just understands, mm-hmm. right? So he he understands kind of how to craft a vocal line and how to craft songs. And that obviously makes a great singer to me. So that's a good honorable mention. Other yeah. honorable mentions? Yeah. Thinking about? Can't remember the other. Floor. <laughs> the floor. Uh, I love floor. 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 Wonder Woman. I mean, what floor. can you say about Wonder Woman? I mean, she's yeah. fucking Wonder Woman. Fucking hot. Floor. She's period. She's great. In the story, she's Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Um, there were some others that popped in my head when you guys were talking, and, and that kind of yeah. uh, left me. It, it's subdued. Gone. Subdued. I think we've we've done enough. Top five. We've done enough damage. Yes. For the night. For the night. Well, until oh, the you next know, time. we got plenty more for you still from episode 15, two year anniversary of Beer Night. By the way, if I remember any honorable mentions I'm forgetting, mm-hmm. I'm bringing them up in the movie segment. You, shut up. No, you're <laughs> not. No one wants to hear that. Come totally on am. now. That's all I am. Ooh. All right. Well, give us some suggestions if you're still watching. Uh, any other top fives that we should do? Give us some suggestions in the comments. We need some. Yes, because I'm kind of running out of ideas. Because this guy can't fucking think of anything. I gotta think of. Who said I can't think of anything? You never asked. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, it's whatever. whatever. You should come to me. They should come to me. <laughs> so you never asked. Yeah, I know YouTube All videos. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, cheers to you. We got TV's and movies show segments coming up next. Here we go. Hot round.